Hi dear students, welcome back to my channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics. M set neat preparation lo baganga. E rows e video lo units and measurements physical world. E chapter samandhi chha twenty previous examinations lo adina twenty practical ki solutions is eva bhoto naanu. So units and measurements physical world weighte hoche si. Two marks must one or two marks must. That's why you have to watch the video very carefully. So I want to upload the all the previous examination bits in all chapters. That's why subscribe my channel and follow my channel regularly. I'm sure this channel is well must be helps you to get the best score in the M set. Okay. So see the first one here. The chapter is physical world units and measurements, and this is the lesson number one. Lesson number one. So first question see here. If absolute error is zero point zero five meters for a measurement length of five meters, what is the percentage error? If absolute error is 0.05 meters for measure length of 5 meters, what is the percentage error? A is the one percentage, B is two percentage, C option is three percentage, and D is the four percentage. E chapter ek special D in ende without more difficulty. Ane difficulty levels mari ekko last galga thinking is a high high order questions ka kunna direct questions ek kunde. सो काबी चाप्टर नीचे मैं ईजी स्कोर वेक अवकाश उ अंक यह चाप्टर मेरे नैग्लैक्ट ओके इप्ड चूँ क्वेश्चन आड़ेमचा वाट हाउ टू फैंड द पर्संटेज एरर सो द पर्संटेज फॉर्म एर इज वाट पर्संटेज एर्र इज वाट रेट रिटेट एर इंटू हड्रेड रिटेट एर्र इंटू हड्रेड So this is the formula. Percent error is equal to relative error into hundred. So relative error into hundred. So what he was given length. Absolute error in length is zero point zero five. He was given delta L is equal to zero point zero five meters, and the length what he was given that is nothing but true value here five meters. Then percentage error, percentage error is equal to what? Right? Delta L by L into hundred. That means delta L value is what? Zero point zero five, and L value is what? Five into hundred. Simply what? Right? Zero point zero five into hundred means what? Five. Five by five. That is equal to what? One percentage. So that's why the relative Error. Uh, the percentage error of the length is what is one percentage. So option A is the correct one. This question. The question is the. It is given in the exam, tenth September twenty twenty shift three. So question is in five successive measurements, the mass of the ball is measured to two point six one grams, two point five eight grams, two point four zero grams, two point seven three grams, and two point eight zero grams. The absolute error in the measurement is the absolute error in the measurement is. So options are given: 0.09 grams, 0.07 grams, 0.11 grams, 0.13 grams. So each one question is that. Okay, ball undi. A ball yeka mass ni five times kan kunaru kan kunna puru a mass se lawne ande lawne. 2.61, 2.5, 2.40, 2.73 and 2.80. So, we are going to come and do the absolute error in the measurement. Absolute error in the measurement. So, simply uh, the average of all the observer absolute errors should be how to find out. So, options are given: zero point zero nine, zero point zero seven, zero point one one, and zero point one three. So, first thing is the given values. M one is what mass two point six one grams, and M two is what two point five eight grams. And M3 is what 2.40 grams, and M4 is 2.73 grams. And next thing is M5 is 
2.80 grams. So what here, friends, you learn the absolute error in the measurement. Simply, we want to find out the delta Y, delta M. This is what mass. That's why what you write formula is what delta Y, delta M mean. Delta M mean is equals to delta M1 plus delta M2 plus delta M3 plus delta M4 plus delta M5 by 5. So this is the formula we have to use here now. Delta M mean is equals to delta M1 plus delta M2 plus delta M3 plus delta M4 plus delta M5 by 5. So what you have to find delta M1 we have to find delta M1 delta M2 delta M3 we have to find. So again what is the formula of absolute error absolute error is equals to mod of mod of true value minus measured value or calculated value this is the expression for absolute error so delta m1 is what absolute error of m1 delta m2 is what absolute error of m2 delta m3 is what absolute error of m3 so and again we have to find out the true value what is true value again what do I true value is equals to average of all measured values so average of all measured values so that is the true value so we have to use these three formulas in this case now first we have to find out the true value delta m a mean or some m mean is equals to what you have to write m mean is equals to m mean is equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5 by 5 so that is the true value here true value is nothing but average of all measured values m mean is equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5 by 5 that's why what i'm going to write m mean is equals to m1 value is what 2.61 plus 2.58 plus 2.40 plus 2.73 plus and 2.80 by 5 so what do you get 1 plus 8 9 0 12 12 plus 0 s 1 12 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4, 7 23 23 plus 8 31 so 3 is there 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 9 7 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 2 13 so that's why what you write 13.12 so 13.12 by 5 13.12 by 5 that is what you have to write so 5 twos are s 10 5 six are again 5 twos are 30 and 5 is 30 again 5 twos are so that is what you have to write true value is what m mean is equals to 2.62 is the mean value so after finding the mean value we want to find out the absolute errors absolute errors so watch carefully very important one so don't skip the video you have to st stay tuned because if you want to gain the knowledge you must be watch the video continuously here now i am going to write delta m1 delta m1 what is delta m1 absolute error of m1 so what is the formula for absolute error this is the formula absolute error is what true value minus measured value so in this case what's that true value is what 2.62 true value is what 2.62 that's why here i'm going to write mod of 2.62 minus m1 value is what measured value what it is 2.61 2.61 that is what 0.01 Next, similarly, delta M2, delta M2, what is that? True value is 2.62 minus, 
and what is the next one value 2.58 2.58 that is equals to what 0.04 and similarly delta m3 that is what mod of 2.62 minus m3 value is what 2.40 2.40 that is what 2 minus 0 2 and 6 minus 4 2 0 0.22 and similarly delta m4 delta m4 is equals to mod of 2.62 minus m4 value is what 2.73 2.73 so 2.73 minus 2.62 what it is 1 1 so 0 0.11 and similarly here now delta m5 we have to find out so delta m5 again what you have to write 2.62 minus 2.80 2.80 so 2.80 minus 2.62 8 to 1 so 0 0.18 so 0 0.18 so these are the absolute errors of m1 m2 m3 m4 and m5 so what you have to find here now simply delta m mean we have to find so that's why here already the formula is clearly mentioned there here delta m mean delta m mean delta m mean is equals to what you have to write delta m value is what 0 0.01 0 0.01 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.22 plus and 0 0.11 plus 0 0.18 by again what you have to write 5 so delta m1 value is 0 0.1 delta m2 value is 0 0.04 delta m3 is 0 0.22 delta m4 is 0 0.1 as like that so now we have to add all of them so 0 0.01 0 0.04 0 0.22 and 0 0.11 and 0 0.18 so what we get 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 8 16 again 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 1 okay next so 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 2 7 so 8 plus 6 yes so then what we get here 0 0.56 so delta m mean is equals to 0 0.56 by 5 then what do you get 0 0.11 0 0.11 that's why among the four options third one is the right one question what is the dimension of 1 by mu naught epsilon naught what is the dimension formula of 1 by mu naught epsilon naught where mu naught is the permeability in free space and epsilon naught is the permittivity in free space options are given first option is l square t to the power of minus 2 second option is lt inverse 1 third option is l square t square and fourth option is lt square so what was given dimension of 1 by mu naught epsilon naught is we have to find out it so we know that the relation between relation between velocity of light c and mu naught permeability and permittivity is c is equals to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught then what you have to do squaring on both sides then what do you get 1 by mu naught epsilon naught square then what do you get c square is equals to 1 by mu naught epsilon naught c square is equals to 1 by mu naught epsilon naught so what you do say what is c velocity of light that's why velocity of light is equal to ld inverse 1 whole square is equals to 1 by mu naught epsilon naught that means what you get l square t inverse 2 so l square t inverse 2 is the dimension formula of 1 by mu naught epsilon naught that's why among the four options first one is the correct one see the next question 
due to explosion underneath water a bubble started oscillating if this oscillation has the time period t which is proportional to p to power of alpha h to power of beta and e to power of gamma where p is the where p is the static pressure p is the static pressure and s is the density and e is the total energy of the explosion determine alpha beta gamma due to explosion underneath water a bubble started oscillating if this oscillation has the time period t which is proportional to p to power of alpha s to power of beta and e to power of gamma and where p is the pressure and s is the density and e is the total energy then what you have to find alpha beta gamma so options are given like this alpha is equals to minus 3 by 2 and beta is equals to 1 by 3 and gamma is equals to minus 5 by 6 that is the first option a and second option is beta alpha is equals to minus 5 by 6 beta is equals to 1 by 2 gamma is equals to 1 by 3 and third option c alpha is equals to 1 by 2 beta is equals to minus 5 by 6 5 by 6 gamma is 7 by 4 and alpha is equals to 1 by 3 and beta is equals to 3 by 2 gamma is equals to 4 by 3 in that situation Water low block of blast are in a put the antlow and water molecule and the symbol of harmonic oscillation just in the chest and up with the time period theater a time period and the P S E Lego proportional down to the upper man more alpha beta gamma like a value in one find out cherry that is the problem here so options are given clearly so let's go for the answer very simple this question is asked in the 10th September 2020 shoot one so here the answer is what it is we have to find out it so what he was given T is proportional to P to 4 of alpha and S to 4 of beta and E to 4 of gamma so here what is T time period what is T T is the time period dimension formula is what T and what is P pressure so force by area then what do you get ml t inverse 2 by l square then what do you get m inverse 1 t inverse 2 and next what is s s is the here density then what do write m y v density is equal to mass per volume formula is ml inverse 3 and next thing is what it is e e is what total energy total energy that is what m l square t inverse 2 so these are the dimensions formula of t p s and e so now here according to the principle of homogeneity what you have to say t is equals to k into p to 4 of alpha s to 4 of beta and e to 4 of gamma so according to the principle of, principle of homogeneity in a equation dimension equation the dimensions of one quantity on LHS must be equal to the dimensions of on RHS according to the principle of homogeneity in any dimensional equation the dimensions of particular one quantity should be equals to the dimensions of same quantity on LHS and RHS principle of homogeneity prakaram either of physical quantity this can up to our physical product dimensions and heavy left side allow to know right over alane on to me then prakaram this can up to come on journey t and never ask nani la ask you name to four of zero l four of zero t four of zero as now and k and m on a constant then i mentioned from around the pressure gain d s m l inverse one t inverse two and s and d and d m l inverse 3 and e and a and d m l square t inverse 2 so what kind of powers are alpha beta and gamma so rasin travata i pudu what the mom dimensions and every principle of homogeneity program character on a level check yes quality so you put other equation grassana clear m to 4 of 0 l to 4 of 0 t to 4 of 0 rasna t to 4 of 1 is equals to the only m l inverse 1 t inverse 2 old for of alpha and m l inverse 3 old for of beta and next thing is what
m l square t inverse to whole form of gamma so now we can go for comparison of dimensions on both sides according to the principle of homogeneity so here now dimensions of m lhs is equals to rhs so dimensions of m lhs is how much it is zero then rhs what it is here input input power one it is there and whole form of alpha so then what i have write alpha plus here beta here plus gamma this equation number one so here m2 for of alpha it is there m2 for of beta is there m2 for of gamma at the first equation and next is similarly dimensions of l on both sides zero minus one into alpha minus alpha minus three into beta minus three beta here what it is plus two gamma equation number two and now third one dimensions of t on both sides ls is what one r is what minus two alpha here there is no t that's what you write here minus two beta equation number three so now we have to solve the equations number one two three then only we will get the alpha beta gamma so maybe it becomes as seems to be like very lengthy but it is very easy but you have to do it in the very short time also so here first i am going to take equation number one and three one and one into two i am writing here one into two is equals what zero is equals to two alpha plus two beta we are multiplying the equation on both sides two two alpha plus two beta plus two gamma then what do we get s two alpha plus two beta two gamma and next thing is we can go for equation number three equation number three that is what one is equals to minus two alpha minus two beta minus two alpha here t we have come back sorry this is minus two gamma so that's why minus two gamma here so we have to add them like this plus zero minus two gamma we have to add them so we are doing plus so one is equals to this is cancel two beta and this is also zero then beta is equals what we get one by two beta is one by two so we got the value of beta and after that next we can go for the equation number um, one and two equation number one and two we can go for that so what the equation number one zero alpha plus beta plus gamma again zero is equals to minus alpha minus three beta plus two gamma so this equation number one and this is two we have to add them then what do you get zero is equals to these two are cancel so beta minus three beta minus two beta plus three gamma three gamma we got this so then after we have to substitute here zero is equals to minus two into beta value is what one by two plus three gamma then what at three gamma is equals to two into one by two <coughs> then gamma is equals what we get two by two into one by three that means what gamma is equals to one by three we got gamma is equals to one by three so we got beta value and we got gamma value then what do you have to find alpha value we have to find so we have to substitute in the equation number one zero is equals to what is alpha we want to find what is beta one by two next what is plus one by three zero is equals to alpha plus six by three plus two so zero is equals to alpha plus five by six. Then alpha is equals to minus five by six. 
so in this way we will find out the alpha value is minus 5 by 6 and beta is equals to 1 by 2 and gamma is equals to 1 by 3 so we have to use the principle of homogeneity okay see the next question this is from physical world chapter very important a very easy question the nuclear forces are it is given in the exam previous exams 10th September 2020 shift one okay options are given long range repulsive forces long range attractive forces and short range attractive forces and short range repulsive forces short range repulsive forces so look here now first thing is what is nuclear force you have to know it first nuclear force so nuclear force nothing but what it is the attractive force between the attractive force between nucleons is called nuclear force nuclear force the attract force between the nucleons is called nuclear force because here it is the nucleus nucleus consists of only protons protons neutrons neutrons so many protons and so many neutrons here proton is positive charge and proton is one more positive charge they must be having some repulsive force because they are having like forces when they have like forces they must be repulse each other when they repulse each other they must be came out from the nucleus then the atom will be collapse but then the atom will be collapse or destructed but it is not happening why because some other force is acting between the same kind of nucleons that is what we call nuclear force clear in a nucleus protons are there neutrons are there protons charge is positive when we consider two protons they must be experiences a repulse force then they must be repelled and they must be come out from the nucleus but it is not happening why because some other attractive force is acting between the nucleus that is what we call nuclear force nuclear forces must be always attract force and next thing is so it is the attractive force is the right one and why the nuclear forces are the short range forces short range forces so short range forces means here the atom is very small how much 10 power of 10 meters the size of the atom is 10 power of minus 10 meters atom is very small one in that again nuclear is very 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 small then its size is what nuclear size 10 power of minus 15 meters so where are nucleons available in nucleus that's why the force between the nucleons is what we call nuclear force where are the nucleons in nucleus that's why the nuclear forces are the short range forces short range forces because the size of the nucleus is very less in that only the nuclear force are available that's why they call short range and they can experience the attractive force that's why third option is the correct one the next question it is the given in the entrance 2020 9th September 2020 I'm sorry, shift to number 3 question is do, the dominant force experienced by an electron moving in a wire the dominant force experienced by an electron in a moving in a wire moving in a wire is gravitational force electromagnetic force strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force ఒక వైర్ లో ఎలక్ట్రాన్ మూవ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు దాని మీద పని చేస్తున్న బలాలు ఏమిటి లే బలం ఏమిటి ఒక వైర్ లో ఎలక్ట్రాన్ మూవ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు దాని మీద పని చేసే బలం ఏమిటి అని అడుగుతున్నాడు గ్రావిటేషనల్ ఫోర్సా ఎలక్ట్రోమాగ్నెటిక్ ఫోర్సా స్ట్రాంగ్ న్యూక్లియరా వీక్ న్యూక్లియరా సో లుక్ హియర్ వెన్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ ఇన్ ద వైర్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ ఇన్ ఏ వైర్ under influence of influence of both electric and magnetic fields electric and magnetic fields so because 
we know that f net is equals to simply here f e plus f b this is the the expression for net force acting on the electron in wire here f e is force due to the electric field that is q e and force due to the magnetic field is q v b sin theta or simply we can write q of v cross v simply like that so simply here we will write like that here q is nothing but what e electron charge e v b sin theta then simply we are writing like this f is equals to q e plus q v b sin theta so we consider electron that's why what you write simply here e is equals to f by q f is equals to what q e f net and this is f e and this is f b that's why that should be having some electromagnetic force electron can experience the both electric and magnetic fields that should be what we call electromagnetic force but this question is based on the basic forces in nature asked so many times look here but way of questioning is different question it is asked in the 2020 exam 10th september shift to 3 online paper in atomic scale the weakest force in nature in atomic scale the weakest force in nature nature lo unnatundi least force edi nadu vetunadu options strong nuclear force electromagnetic force gravitational force and weak nuclear force that is the option the same question should be given in the 11th september 2020 paper shift 1 same question but in different manner let g w e and s are the strength of gravitation g is the gravitation and w is the weak nuclear and e is the electromagnetic and s is the strong nuclear force here what is g gravitation gravitational force and what is w weak nuclear force and what is e electromagnetic electromagnetic force and what is s strong nuclear force so given in those again options are given s is greater than w w is greater than g g is greater than e and next question next option b e is greater than w s is greater than g s is greater than e w is greater than g and s e is greater than e e is greater than g and w so this is the option given we have to write the order ascending order descending order so he was asking now here descending order to write that one you have to simply remember that gravitation order is 1 and weak nuclear force is 10 power of 25 and electromagnetic is 10 power of 36 and strong nuclear force is 10 power of 38 38 so gravitational force is the least one and strong nuclear force is the highest one so there are basic forces are four among them gravitational force is the least force in the universe or natural and s is the strong one so here 10 power of 38 is the s s is greater than what electromagnetic force e and e is greater than what w weak nuclear force and w is greater than g so like this so this is the descending order S is greater than E, E is greater than W, W is greater than G. Okay, well, ascending order again. Now what? Only G is greater than. Hmm. G is less than W, W is less than E, and E is less than S. Like that. So for this question, S, E, W, G. C 
सी ऑप्शन इज द राइट वन सो यू हैव टू व्हेन यू हैव रिमेंबर द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ दोस फोर्सेस यू कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई व्हिच इज द हाईएस्ट वन व्हिच इज द लोएस्ट वन एंड यू कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड असेंडिंग ऑर्डर रिमेंबर दीस ऑर्डर्स ऑप्शन द लॉन्ग रेंज फोर्स एक्सपीरियंसड बाय ए न्यूट्रल पार्टिकल विथ ए फाइनाइट मास ए लॉन्ग रेंज फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय ए न्यूट्रल पार्टिकल विथ ए फाइनाइट मास सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन इन द 2021 ईयर एम सेट पेपर 11 सितंबर 2021 शिफ्ट 3 सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शंस आर गिवन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वीक न्यूक्लियर फोर्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फोर्स एंड स्ट्रांग न्यूक्लियर फोर्स so all of you know what's that nuclear force and strong nuclear force and electromagnetic force they are belongs to shortest distances shortest distances so the range is only the long range force is only gravitational force strong nuclear force weak and electromagnetic force are the they should be confined up to some distance only small distance so distance only these are applicable so according to the according to universal law of gravitation universal law of gravitation we will write f is equals to g into m1 m2 by r square that means what the gravitational force acting between two bodies is directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them which are having some masses that should be attracts to each other so here there is some difference between the coulombic force and gravitational force gravitational force must be applicable from small distance to the long distances but in case of coulombic forces that should be confined to small distance that's why here gravitational force is the long range force that's why here option is a is the right one see the next question the dimension of angular momentum dimension of angular momentum in terms of mass length and time so it was question asked in 11th september 2021 shift 2 so some options are given what you have to find dimension formula of angular momentum what is the formula actually l is equals to m v r what is l angular momentum angular momentum l is equals to m v r what is m mass is the dimension formula is what m and what is v velocity what is dimension formula l d inverse 1 and what is r radius what is dimension formula nothing but l so then substitute here L is equals to m into L T inverse one into L. Then what do you get? M L square T inverse one. So this is the dimension formula of angular momentum. M L square T inverse one. So among the four options, C is the correct one. So even though my key dimension formula question is only. रेग्युर्न फावी प्रती रोजूद वीडियो एम से नीट संबंधी अड्डू उठा एवर सीरीयस प्रिपेर अवतारो वाली मैं झानल सजेस्टी ानल सब्सक्रैब् चुस्को बेल्का प्रेस थैंक यू